In the driveway, there's no rapper cars, just some shit to get from back and forth. All right, class, let's dive into the deeper meaning of J. Cole's neighbors. What is one thing that stands out to you as you listen to this song? Yes. Um, a part that really stood out from the song has the lyrics in the hook, Black in a White Man Territory. Um, I feel as if it portrays Cole's reality as he advances in life and acquired wealth, living amongst white people who claim the territory and call the cops on J. Cole for being black. Very good observation. As we listen further, when Cole says, Crib has got a big old backyard, my nigga is standing outside and passing cigars, filled with marijuana, laughing hard, thankful that they're friends and platinum star. In the driveways, there's no rapper cars. These lyrics portray J. Cole and his friend. Wait! Are you allowed to say that? Say what? The N word. I'm saying it for educational purposes. I'm not directing it at a student or anyone in particular. It doesn't really matter if it's for educational purposes. No white person should throw the N word around. It just carries a lot of weight, and it really shows a lack of forethought and awareness. It makes students of color feel like we're in a hostile environment even when it's not specifically directed to a person. Students of color should feel safe while learning, rather than being called out by a professor who really fails to initiate any conversation prior to using that kind of language. Hello everyone, I'll be in charge of your interviews today. I'll be checking you in with your resumes. So when I call your name, please say you're here. Hi. Is Tessalogy here? Uh, yeah, it's Salogy. Welcome. Josh? I'm sorry, I'm late. I have a killer hangover this morning. That's okay. I'm glad you could join us, Chad. Thank you. Um, Presley? Yeah, uh, right here. Uh, you actually missed Josue. Oh. I called him Josh. Hello. Um. Okay, Salaji, you're first. Eleven minutes later. Thank you. Mm hmm Hostway. Eleven minutes later. Chad, if you're ready, please come with me. An hour later. Thanks for joining us today, Chad. Thank you. Presley? Eleven minutes later. Thank you all for coming today. I'll send out an email with who uh, gets the job. So I got the job. Dude, that's epic. Yeah, I guess I only applied because the interviewer said I was like guaranteed the position. And it like boosts my resume too. So you didn't need the job? Not really. I don't really need the money either. Uh, why don't you just give it to someone else? That's it. I feel bad. The interviewer was practically like begging me to apply. They said they didn't have anyone qualified for who else interviewed? Um, some kid named Joshua, and then a kid named Preston. Uh, oh, oh, Josue and Preston. I heard that Josue was really qualified for the job, and he really needed it. Well, I know Gaudi's still hiring, and the grounds work always in his house, so I mean, maybe they'll have better luck to find them. Aren't you here on an athletic scholarship? Yeah, you're supposed to be better than this if you're getting money to be here. We shouldn't be wasting our money on you. What were the recruiters thinking? They must have been blindfolded. What high school did you go to? Home of the Fowls? You must have been the only one on the team sympathy scholarship. Otherwise, the other kids must have sucked. Hey, come step in my office, man. What's up, Presley? What's on your mind? I just feel like my teammates, you know, they're not really respecting me as a, as a player, really, you know? Every time I make a mistake or something, they just, they get on me and they're like, you know, aren't you here on some athletic scholarship or something? And they just make fun of me, you know? They say I'm a waste of money. I'm sorry you feel this way, but I don't really see it has that big of a deal. They're just teasing you, teasing. you know? You're just being too sensitive, man. If I stopped every time, 
the team was giving someone a hard time, we would never get anything done. How am I supposed to get over it? I have to deal with behavior like this all day. It happens throughout my whole day. I come to practice and you know, it should be a safe place. I just don't feel like that. My scholarship doesn't define who I am. I'm way more than an athlete. I wanna make friends, go to school, find myself, because it's fun. This doesn't define me. Microaggressions are destructive. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I just feel really uncomfortable. I don't know why you feel like you could just sing along to that song. I don't know. I was looking at everything like, like it's good or something. Oh, it's just YG. I was just listening to YG. Yeah, I know. But when you're, you're throwing the N word around, you know, it just comes from like a, when it comes from a privileged white boy. I don't really. I just feel some type of way about that, you know? Privilege? I don't privilege. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I'm from. I'm not gonna say bro. I'm from Atlanta. Like, I got boys that are like, like I got homies, man. Like, I'm not. I mean, by you doing this, you're really like enforcing the structural and institutional racism that oppresses people, you know, oppresses my people. I don't, I think there's a problem with that, you know? I'm sorry, I know you don't like that word. I apologize for that. I know, but I need you to think next time, really, because you're just playing this out loud. I'm, I'm trying to wash my hands and I hear this. And I've been going through stuff all day with this. My progression's like crazy, and I, I'm getting really fed up with it, you know? I don't, yeah, well, again, I wasn't trying to offend you. I'm sorry, I can't understand. Mm -hmm. Just, just don't throw that word around, man. Okay, bro. You know, it has, it has a huge meaning. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very impressive to people. I can understand that. The N word is a word that has historical connection to slavery and racial oppression. It was used to suppose the inferiority of African Americans by white people. White people have assumed that this word they could continue to use, while black male artists normalize the, the word, making white people think they could say it is definitely out of the question, and there should be a consequence to that. This ties directly into racism and white supremacy, and it just upholds the system.